Oh, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I, okay, full disclosure, I'm a little bit nervous about today's video. As you guys saw in the title, I am going to be trying on the wedding dress that I was going to wear to my original wedding before we had to cancel it due to the pandemic. And I am absolutely thrilled with the dress that I wore on my recent wedding. It sounds like I got married like a million times to a bunch of people. I did, I did not. Um, but I love the dress that I ended up with, like loved beyond. Like that. those words don't even exist for how I felt about it. But I'm wondering like if I'm going to have an emotional response to the original one that I was going to wear, which in theory I didn't really ever like love love, but I loved it, you know? It's like, 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 I liked it. But before I tell you all about that dress and try it on with you, I did want to let you know that today's video is sponsored and I am so excited by today's sponsor, but more so Jeff is literally thrilled. When the email came into my email box, Jeff was like, we will do anything for this sponsor, which was slightly frightening, but here we are. <laughs> You guys know I am pretty adamant about vetting the products that I promote here on my channel and I want to let you know that this product in particular was something that I actually heard about via a podcast ad a year ago and I got this as a gift for Jeff last Christmas and he hasn't stopped talking about it since and I was definitely planning on doing another round of gift from them for this year's uh, Christmas. So this is all to say uh, we are a big fan of Manscaped in our homes. Everybody, a round of applause for Manscaped. <laughs> I feel like buying gifts for Jeff in general is difficult. So if you have that problem with a man in your life, uh, I cannot recommend Manscaped enough. So Manscaped is killing the game when it comes to uh, hygiene, specifically for men. And this is their new package that we just got. Jeff hasn't even seen this yet and I'm excited to share it with him. But this is their performance package, which they refer to as, and I quote, all in one grooming kit from head to toe, man maintenance. Cute. So this is the Lawnmower 4.0 and it is a waterproof trimmer specifically for below the waist. And what I like about the fact that it's waterproof is that Jeff can deal with this hairy stuff in the shower so it doesn't get all over the bathroom. Thank you, Manscaped. And then there's some great stocking stuffers in here um, that Jeff has used and I can attest to being awesome. And that is the ball deodorant. I'm not joking, this thing's amazing. It smells delightful and I'm very grateful for this. And this is the Reviver, it's a ball toner. I'm not joking, we're jingle belling our balls all the way into the new year. <laughs> they hooked it up with the weed whacker, which is great for hairy noses and hairy ears. And I will tell you that Jeff has put this up my nose before <laughs> and it works wonderfully. And this is new, which I'm going to actually steal. A nail file, a nail clipper, grooming scissors, tweezers, and the storage case. And I could use some new tweezers because I have hairs growing in here all of a sudden, which is horrifying. It's the biggest bang for your buck because you get two free gifts if you order now. You got these Manscapes undies, which are very soft and very delightful. Oh, and also they're anti-chafing, which I actually just might wear these to bed or on my head. Please, every brand, you should hire me. I'm brilliant. <laughs> uh, you also get a shed travel bag. So really, come on, if you need a gift, I could not suggest this more. If you visit manscaped.com and use my promo code, I'll leave all the information below, you get 20% off your purchase plus your two free gifts. It's a great deal and I truly wholeheartedly stand by Manscaped and my husband's balls. Now on to the rest of the video. Although honestly, I feel like could it get any better than this? I highly doubt it, but let's give it a shot. All right, so if you've been following me for a long time, we were originally gonna get married in Hawaii before the pandemic hit. So before all that happened, um, I was lucky enough to go to Beholden, which is like the wedding store within anthropology. Sometimes they have a freestanding store, but um, the one we went to was inside of an anthropology. Anyways, they invited me in. I made a whole video about it. I'll leave the link up here and down below. Um, and they were so generous and so kind and the dresses were really, really beautiful. Um, but it was like a really rushed situation. And and I felt pressured and so I 
ended up picking a dress during the video and then I slept on it and the next day I woke up and I was like, no, that's not the dress. I want to pick the other dress. I never really had the feeling of like, oh my God, this is the one like crying in tears, which I ultimately did end up having with the dress that I got um, from Barcelona, which I will save for the next wedding dress video. Um, so I always just kind of felt like a little bit so-so about this dress, but I figured I would take it to my amazing seamstress and have her kind of like tailor it and alter it so that it fit me exactly as I sort of imagined. Um, but obviously then we had to cancel our wedding and we never got to that point. So I haven't tried on this dress uh, since it arrived to my home. So I tried it on once at Beholden and once when it got here um, and that was it. And I put it in a bag and stuck it up in my dad's house and it's been there ever since. So last week I went and got it and I think I guess I'll just like jump into it and try it on. Uh, Jeff hasn't seen it. Again, I haven't tried it on in two years. I have like no concept of what it's gonna feel like to put it on. So um, let's do that. Also, I'll put on the shoes that I was gonna wear, which I did reveal in uh, one of my wedding videos. I have so many <laughs> wedding videos. I'm sorry if you don't like wedding content. I, you know, I'm almost done with it. I mean, unless I get married again, I mean, how much more can I provide for you? But I did do another like canceled wedding dress because I had a backup to this dress and I revealed my shoes there. They're Jeffrey Campbell sandals and they're gorgeous and I haven't worn them yet. So I guess today's the day. Let's put on the wedding dress and, and see how it goes. You guys are in the living room today because Jeff is sleeping in. So he's going to wake up to me dressed in a wedding dress and be very confused. <laughs> Can't wait. All right. Here she is. My very much Cinderella dress, which I didn't even realize until now. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I forgot how much I love this. Uh, well, I said I liked it, but um, now that I have it on, it's definitely not really my style, but in terms of like Cinderella type wedding dresses, this is as good as it gets in my opinion. Um, I'm a thousand percent happy I chose the one that I ended up cho choosing, but this was a really gorgeous dress. My intention was to get some of the fabric taken out because it was just a little bit too poofy poofy for me and obviously I needed to get it hemmed but check out the shoes I thought these shoes were so cute for underneath it's just a whole lot of dress you know what I mean it is a floof of a dress but what I really like fell in love with with this dress was the top I loved the way that it came in and it there's boning in it so it holds you up you don't have to wear a bra it shows off the part of my bod that I really like and I think is flattering, but it then covers my arms in the places that I don't necessarily love. It, it, it really is pretty ideal um, if this was the style that I ultimately was going for. I did feel like it would work in Hawaii if we were in the middle of like some grassy, beautiful area and we have this big flowy dress. Like it made me feel really pretty. Ultimately, again, I feel like I found my groove and found my dress in terms of what my ultimate style is. Gosh, this is really pretty and I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with it. It like literally still has the tags on it. So I think I am going to rent it out. Um, I work with the company to rent out some of my higher end clothes anyway. So make sure you check the links below. I should have contacted them before I filmed to see if they do wedding dresses. If they do, I will definitely do it through them. If not, let me know where you guys rent stuff from because I feel like wedding dresses are so expensive, so unnecessarily expensive. Not to say that the work and the materials that go into them aren't worth a million bucks, but it's just so crazy because you really do just wear it for one day and I'm grappling with that with my wedding dress as to what to do with it, which I talked about in one of my recent vlogs. I just feel like I wanna wear it again, which maybe is weird, but I'll figure it out. Uh, this is all to say, I actually think renting a dress is awesome. So if I have the opportunity to rent this out and you need one, here it is. I also feel like maybe one day I'll be in a movie where we need to be wearing wedding dresses or princess dresses or something. And I'd wear this. Look at the back. Like the way this drapes is just so pretty. Should I just wear this to go get coffee? Maybe I should just keep it and wear it at random times. I also, I wouldn't do this because I feel like it's such a waste, but I would like love to just have this as a top. Well, here I am all dressed up and nowhere to go. I'm already married, so 
Cool, bro, cool. <laughs> I want Jeff to wake up so I can show him this dress. In case you didn't see the shoes close up. Here they are. They're these Jeffrey Campbell sandals. I love Jeffrey Campbell. These for some reason got bad reviews, um, but I should start wearing these. I just think that they're so fun and I thought for Hawaii, like a pop of green would be fabulous. And they kind of had that 70s like flair to it, which, you know, is sort of my thing. But I tried to see if these would work with the dress that I ended up wearing, but they definitely did not go with the style and they took away from the gorgeousness of the dress. But if you do wanna see like a full dress reveal of the dress that I ended up wearing and sort of the story of how I got the dress, which is actually pretty cool um, and so magical, like tears flowing, um, let me know for sure. I'm just gonna stand here now and stare at myself in the viewfinder and wonder what life would have been like if I got married in this. Probably exactly the same. <laughs> Probably exactly the same. Well, here it is, guys. This is it. I feel like I've been building this up for a long time. What do you guys think? Is it your style? Would you wear this? Do you feel like it's my style and I should have worn this? Or are you glad that I picked something different? Let me know. All your judgments down below. Uh, thanks you guys so much for watching and thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Guys, really, uh, again, check out the links in the comments below. Uh, if you are looking for the perfect holiday gift, I literally could not suggest a better one. So, oh, today I think might be Thanksgiving. So if you celebrate, happy Thanksgiving and get ready. Black Friday is coming and so is Vlogmas. So we got a lot of shopping and a lot of video watching to do. Excited to be doing it with y'all. All right, see you soon. Bye.